Okay, we are asked to solve this equation, 49x squared minus uh, 112x equals negative 59, 4x. What you should first realize, of course, is this is a quadratic equation because we have an x squared and an x. And we're going to use the quadratic formula here. You can see I've got the quadratic formula right here, and this is a formula you should know. Um, the first thing, though, this requires is we have to have our, our equation written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So you can see the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this 59. I'm going to add 59 to both sides, and I get 49x squared minus 112x plus 59 equals 0. Once it's in this form, then each coefficient becomes my a, b, and c. So a is 49, b is negative 112 because the signs come with it. And finally, C is 59. So then I take each of these terms and I plug them in to this equation. Now, this equation obviously is not for the faint-hearted. It is a big equation. There are lots of pieces here. So where do you start? Well, you start under the radical. So I'm going to do negative 112 squared. So first here, my, um, my two negatives cancel each other out. Uh, my 112, negative 112 squared becomes a positive 120, 44. Yes, I have 4 times 49, and this is a great use of your calculator, times 59 gives me 1157. And this is all over 2 times 49. And I can do this now because, of course, you do the top and the bottom separately. So this is an 8. I'm going next time I'm going to do my, my subtraction, 125.44 minus 11564. And I'm left with 112 plus or minus an 80 over 90. Obviously, you can check, is 98 a perfect square? Nope, which I didn't figure it was because um, it, it's kind of evil. So then we have to ask ourselves, can we take anything out? Um, can we simplify? At this point, there's nothing we can do. We don't have a term. We're pulling out of each one of these. But I'm going to look at the and go, what can I do? So I'm going to look at 980, and I'm going to go, I need to try to find a perfect square. So as I look at it, I'm going to think, well, let's pull out a 5 and see what happens. And I get 196. And I go, well, is 196 a perfect square? And yes, actually, it is. Um, so 5 times 100. I'm going to rewrite this as, and obviously this is kind of trial and error. Um, it helps to know the basic ones. Like I know 196 is, is the square root of, the square root is 14. Because I know through 15 pretty well without having to look them up. But if you don't know them, try them. Chances are something's going to work, and you can kind of work through those base multiples. And looking at this, you can see, well, I can try 10 and try 98. I can try 5 and try 2, see what I can get. So I'm able to rewrite this, so I have 100 minus. So then I have the square root. I get to do these separately. So this is 4 all over 98. And then what I do is I ask myself, OK, what can I take out of both top and bottom? Obviously, I can pull a 2 out. Um, I'm actually going to check. I don't think I can. I, oh, I can pull a 7 out. That's what I was debating here. And actually, let's check the whole thing. 112. Oh, cool. 112 actually is divisible by 14. I, would, I didn't actually know that. I was kind of in my head going, well, I know I can pull out a 2. I was looking at it going, hmm, I wonder if it's 7, if I'm that lucky. So I'm going to take a 14 out of both. So I have 14. And then this is 8, thanks to my calculator. I'm going to do the same thing. Can I pull 14 out? Yes. So this is 14. So then that I'm left with 8 plus or 7. So this is my exact answer. Um, and this is for the most I would expect. I was giving a test and we're taking it as well as most um, instructors. Now, if you were to a word problem, though, you would want the exact answer. How do you find the exact answer? Well, you're going to divide this into two parts. You're going to go 8 plus the square root of 7. I would get out my calculator, and I'd go, okay, I'd take the square root of 5, and then I would add 8, 
and then I would divide by 7. And I would get 1.46, 1 one. Now here, order does matter, so I'm going to do 8 minus 5 square root, okay, divided by 7, and this is 0.82. My two exact answers. Um, so anytime you want an exact answer, you want to pull them apart into the positive version and the negative version so you can do each separately. Um, and obviously you need to pay attention, make sure you get that radical done correctly. Um, I usually run these at least twice to double check to make sure I got the right answer.